Hey gang, I'm Eric Logan Summit. Logan Radio rocks on Twitch, YouTube, and every other social media platform out there. Have you seen my gameplay videos on Fruit Lab yet? Definitely check those out. And oh, you might as well look me up on Vine and subscribe to my high five and make sure that we Skype so you can chat with me live. Not a thing. As promised, here is the continuation of the Your Stream is Boring series, in which we've been discussing how to add audio, video, and awesomeness to your live streams. So today we're gonna check in on an old friend from the Mixer days that's still alive and kicking, and actually a lot more useful these days. That's Mix It Up Bot, that's right, or M-I-U, if you're into the whole brevity thing. So first things first, have you downloaded Mix It Up Bot yet? No? What are you waiting for? Come on, scroll down below so we can get started. Then we can show you how to add channel point redemptions so that your viewers can drop hot audio and video into your stream, get in on the action, and thus be more engaged. First, we're gonna need to go to the Twitch Creator Dashboard. Then traverse the viewer rewards and down to channel points. I need you to click on the manage rewards and challenges, then go all the way down to add new reward. FYI, you can only have 50 total channel point redemptions. However, if you run out, you can also take Twitch's rewards and use those as well. I mean, seriously, who dabs anymore? No. Now give your video or audio drop a name. Yes, both audio and video are primarily set up the same way because they're both media files, all right? So just give them a point value. For video drops, I like to go on the higher side, like 5K, because if not, they'll be dropping these things like Jenga everywhere in your stream. Now for another important FYI, when trying to find a usable pick for your reward icon, Google search images, whatever you're looking for, but make sure to add PNG and the word square to your search parameters. Look, I don't wanna explain all of this, but you do not wanna be using JPEGs and you need everything to be square. It will be a pain in the ass if you don't make sure that it is a PNG and that it is square, okay? Enough said, because I said so, that's why, all right? It will make life a lot easier. I promise. All right, now you're gonna need to resize them in Windows Photos. Or if you're using a Mac, happy Mac to you. You're gonna wanna resize it to 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112 respectively. Then you need to figure out if you want any cooldown and or limits to your redemptions. Now I usually limit it to one per hour and four per stream. So you're not having too many repeats in the same stream as people come and go. Now hit that create button and boom, step one is done. But no time to rest on your laurels. No, no, no. It's time to open up that mix it up bot. Let's get involved. Got it open? Good. All right, now click channel points on the left-hand side. Pass the duchy to the left-hand side and then add command. And now at the top of the new box, you're gonna see reward name. Scroll down till you find whatever you named your reward and then click on that. And now look down at the bottom of this box and you will find action. Click on that and scroll down till you find overlay video and images for yep, you guessed it, video drops. Or if you're adding audio, you wanna click on sound. Then click that little plus sign next to it and boom, new menu, dropping it like it's hot. Now this is where the menu differs from audio to video, okay? But if you can follow along with the addition of video, then the audio is gonna be self-explanatory. Don't worry, I have faith in you, you got this. Now click on the browse button to find your video file. And once you've found it, I need you to take note of how long the video is because we're gonna need that information in just a hot second. Then click that video and add the duration into the box in seconds. 
and decide if you want any cool animations. I use fade in and fade out. That's it as my entrance and exit of every video. That's all I use. And I feel like it adds a nice little nuance to my stream. Now, two very important things, guys, girls, and children of all ages. One, go to the upper right hand corner of the box and tick that unlock command. And last but certainly not least, come on down and make sure to click that save button. Now the only thing left to do is to add it into Slobs or OBS and we're finished. Let's do that. You wanna do it with me? Come on. You need to make sure that you've added your Twitch to Mix It Up Bot in the accounts section and then go to the services section and add the overlay. Copy this host web address from here and then open up Slobs and OBS, go to your live scene Click the little plus sign in the right hand corner of sources and then click that browser source and add source. Now tick the add a new source instead. If this is your first time with Mix It Up Bot, don't worry, we will be gentle. You can name it anything you want. I don't know, MIU works fine for me. And then add source again and make sure it's where you placed it and that's where you want it to be, FYI. You will only need to place the Mix It Up Bot overlay once. After that, all the reward drops will be working just fine. And boom, once again, it's time for kudos and pats on the back. GG's all around, kids. There you go, mission accomplished. So please make sure to be good to yourself, be kind to others, pay it forward, play it forward. Rock like a party star, party like a rock star. Smile strong, laugh loud, and last but not least, please like, follow, and subscribe so you know when I'll be live on Twitch, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 3 p.m. GMT, maybe dropping a new video right here on YouTube, or releasing one of my hot gameplay videos on Fruit Lab, maybe even giving you a chance to star in the upcoming Fast and Furious 10 movie. I mean, why not? If Cardi B can be in it, you can too. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.